capturing protests and creating conversations. That's what one photographer is doing in St. Louis. The subjects in her latest shoot range from two years old to 11. Our Justina Cornell learns how they're viewing the world as it is today. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. And in this case, these words are voiced by children. Danielle Faith captures moments in a flash. And in her latest shoot, she wanted to see the world through a different lens. Our children do see a lot of things that we don't realize that they're seeing. Danielle wanted to hear from our littlest ones as protests take over the streets and conversations of racism unfold. To give our kids a voice. Danielle wanted to take the pictures in front of the murals so the children can see the art in front of their eyes so they can talk about racism and protests. I let them choose which piece of art that they wanted to stand in front of. Over 30 children held their fist up high. I got a huge response from parents that they didn't realize that their kids were understanding these things. And behind the scenes, Danielle challenged parents to have conversations, ones that may not be picture perfect, giving them a set of questions to ask on racism and protests. What color is your skin and how would you feel if it was different? To what do you think that adults can do to make St. Louis a better place? Danielle says the answers were shocking to parents. My skin is dark, but I would like it better if it was light. Another eight year old's response. Why are people racist? Just because I look different does not mean I'm bad. Do people think that? So if we're not having those conversations and sparking um, the light bulbs in their heads um, or even talking to them about the things that they're seeing, it can be extremely detrimental to them. Danielle hopes that even though children aren't in school, they can still learn. We are our kids best teachers. We're the ones that they look to to see what's right and wrong. She explains we've always looked at our children to be the change we want to see by viewing the world through their eyes. It could be a way to picture a better tomorrow. I think that it's time for us to step in and do what is needed. Justina Cornell five on your side. That photographer hopes to have another session since she's had over 60 parents reach out to her. Even though they may be tough, she encourages everyone to have those conversations with their kids.